Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to use the CO2 laser to cut some mylar filament to create some filters for my drone. So the main thing is that I want to share in this video is, is cutting mylar gel. So this is um, optical mylar gel. It's designed to be used as an optical filter. And I've had this laying around for a while, and this is a deep indigo blue. And what I'm doing is actually making... Um, some near IR filters for my Mavic Pro drone and to do that I need to cut out some perfect circles now I could take an exacto knife try doing that and everything else but hey I've got a CO2 laser so I can get a perfect cut now the key is is what settings to use and how to actually do it so one of the first things I've done is I've taken my mylar and attached it to a thin piece of foam board used a little bit of masking tape to hold it down uh, I won't use air assist on this uh, because it, I am going to cut this very fast I'm going to go about 70 millimeters a second and a, I add about 10 milliampers uh, to cut this out and the idea is is I, I want to keep this flat so that's why it's attached but I also kind of want to give it a surface to kind of, um, uh, it, it'll, it'll actually kind of center to the uh, surface, but I don't want to actually catch it on fire. So again, key is one, move fast, two, move low power, and we should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, K40 Laser Whisperer to do the cuts. I've got a template that I drew up real quick in uh, Inkscape into an SVG file and loaded that into uh, Laser Whisper and I'll put a, uh, up in the corner a um, screenshot of it. And so let's go ahead and do this. Now, one of the pieces I am going to do is I am going to close the cover. I am going to use fume extraction. This does make a lot of smoke and it does not smell nice. So um, I am going to close the cover on this, but I will show, I will cut to a video from the internal camera here so you can kind of see how it all comes out. So let's go over and do some cutting. Okay, so here we are back. Uh, we've cut this. So again, this mylar tends to create quite a bit of smoke. So you definitely want to have the enclosure closed and good ventilation for this. Uh, but as you see, it came out pretty good. And as I mentioned, what happens is these sort of get centered a little bit to the board. But it really doesn't uh, burn the board that much. It will etch it a little bit. Uh, you notice we do have a little bit of smoke being pulled across here. But this does clean up uh, pretty nice. So you shouldn't have a problem with this. And it will maintain its optical quality. So this actually works out pretty good. You do notice that uh, one of the things in, in this batch that I've done is it shifted a little bit um, the uh, the exhaust fan pulled it a little bit so probably what I, I should do too is tape it down to this bed a little bit to keep it from moving so that's the first time I've had it actually do that I've cut several several sets of these already and that's sort of how I've got the settings down so again I'm running about 70 millimeters a second on a cut in uh, laser in, in K40 laser whisperer and I'm doing this at about 10 milliamp years so uh, I found going uh, much lower than that I had a bit of a problem and then if I go too fast um, what happens is especially with the color of the material you sometimes run into some strange absorption issues so um, this will also vary a little bit of the color of whatever you're cutting so kind of keep that in mind but anyways this worked out very well and hopefully you found it interesting and if you've got a co2 laser uh, let me know what you're cutting below have you cut anything like this what are your suggested settings is there something i can improve on uh, maybe different backer i'm interested to hear i'm also interested to learn from you guys so uh, please share also if you're thinking about getting a co2 laser i'll have links below and some cards I, you know, I tell you what, for about three to five hundred bucks, this is a really great investment because the versatility of this, of this 40 watt laser is amazing. With just some minor tweaks, you can do some pretty crazy stuff all the way from cutting, um, you know, you know, three to five millimeter acrylic pretty easily to uh, about three millimeter wood. Uh, to engraving glass I, I mean just you know cutting mylar like this you know because again you know this took just seconds to to literally cut out you know uh, you know half dozen or more perfect circles or a dozen perfect circles actually so this is what's really cool about this device is the flexibility it offers and especially over that of of a cnc because i i couldn't practically cut this on a cnc now could i and um, if i wanted to etch something 
again, laser's great alternative. So don't forget to swag shop up in the corner, as always. Um, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I put out regular content. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we build something else or cut something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our 